more than 30 years, the yellow sea kings have been a welcome sight for those in distress around the UK. A walker with a back injury in South Wales winched to safety. Trapped locals in the Boscastle floods plucked from the devastation of what had been their lives. Sailors rescued from the perils of the sea. Operating from six bases 24 hours a day, these RAF search and rescue helicopters have saved over 35,000 lives since 1983. And they kept helping right to the end, the 4th of October. The call came in. A 38-year-old man was unconscious on one of the beaches here in Ilfracombe on the Devon coast. The Sea King was dispatched. The man was winched to safety and flown to hospital. But shortly after, another call came through. The call marking the end. They said, stand down, your job is done. Meaning that the rescue from here in Ilfracombe was the last ever to be carried out by an RAF search and rescue crew. The service, along with that carried out by two Royal Navy helicopters, has been privatised. Search and rescue provision in the UK will be provided by Bristow helicopters from 10 sites around the country. The Sea Kings at RMB Chivener were the last military ones to operate. Group Captain Steve Bentley is the current and final RAF search and rescue force commander. There were a number of conflicting emotions, obviously, but the overwhelming sense for the force was one of pride um, uh, in a job well done, uh, in a privilege that we were part of it, um, a sense of achievement, uh, a sense of uh, the commitment and dedication and bravery and skill of the crews, the support of the engineers and operation staff, all have been worthwhile. While military search and rescue is over in the UK, it will continue overseas. Some of the Chivener crews will relocate to the Falkland Islands until a civilian company takes over next spring. At the end of the day, we get paid to go flying and to protect people or rescue people who are in difficulty. And it's an, an amazing uh, feeling to know that you've, you've been part of that and, and as a team that you've helped someone. Um, and I think that's you know, the most rewarding thing you can get of a job. Military search and rescue was established during the Second World War to rescue pilots shot down over the sea. Since then, it's broadened to help all those in difficulties on land or at sea. And that will continue. But it will no longer be serving RAF or Royal Navy personnel who will be doing the rescuing. Tim Cooper, Forces News, at Royal Marines Base Chivener.